actually on my way to work now. I got the overnight shift, which is pretty cool. Thank you for some light right now. I need it. But yeah, uh, just on my way to work. I don't feel tired, actually. I rested a little bit. I uploaded my little masturbation skit that most of you guys actually took really well. I'm so happy for that. And some of you guys had a little problem with it. Like, oh, that's so immature. Oh my gosh, that's so nasty. Like, come on, guys. This is a joke. I expected you guys as men to just be able to understand it's a joke. And yeah, but anyway, I'm not going to speak too much on that. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys just see that I'm in a different state of mind right now. These are some of the, these are some of the stuff that Elliot Hulse will talk about. Like, just discovering yourself and the transitioning in, you know, my life. You guys just so happen to be watching me while I'm going through one of the biggest transitions in my life, which is going into my 20s, right? A lot of you guys, some of you guys who watch me are older than me, so I'm assuming some of you guys will understand what I'm going through. Like, yo, I've been there, man. I've been 20. I understand you're feeling, you know, like you're, you're finding out more things about yourself that you never knew. So I'm sharing these ideas with you guys. And it really does seem to be helping a lot of you guys. Sorry if it's so dark. But yeah, a lot of you guys are telling me that it's helping y'all. And I am happy that it is. Like I'm happy. It's, it feels so good to hear that you guys are responding well to my non-fitness videos. To those who think I'm not giving my subscribers what they want. Let's, let's just say this. My masturbation video had the, in the title had nothing to do with masturbation. I know the thumbnail was funny, but that video wasn't even wasn't even clickbait, and it did better than my last bodybuilding Caltex episode. Not to mention my why I became celibate video or why I gave up sex video did better than my bodybuilding Caltex episode. So you guys are actually responding well and you guys are actually interested. My sub base is not only fitness heads. So for those of you guys who think that, get it out of your head. There's a lot of us, there's a lot of people in the SOS family who are more interested in just pumping iron and lifting weights and stuff, right? We like to, a lot of us are really trying to figure out more things about ourselves and just trying to improve, our, improve on ourselves as people and not just as lifters. But yeah, I digress. I'll speak on that more in later videos. Let me get my ass to work. So I'm gonna do the weigh-in right now and I'm hoping I should still be around 152. 152. actually I'm not gonna be able to record today I highly doubt it because it's so windy watch look at this look at this look at this okay three two one voila you see that let me show you again let me show you again one two three so I think there was some hurricane that's been passing through the states and it kind of it kind of missed Toronto and I guess like the outskirts of the hurricane or tornado or whatever the hell it was is freaking around with our weather. It was raining, it was freaking pouring outside, and then it's windy as hell. And now like I literally can't record today. So I'm actually checking the weather and tomorrow it's gonna be like all sun. Today's windy as hell, but tomorrow's gonna be all sun. Okay. Yeah, I did it again. I did it. Two personal pan cheese pizzas over a thousand calories and I don't care. I'm gonna enjoy it. There's no food in the house right now. All the food I bought is pretty much done. So yeah, I'm gonna eat those two pizzas, get my workout in. I'm not gonna be recording it because as you guys can probably see, I don't know if you can hear it, hear the wind. I don't know if you can see the, gaze the gazebo moving around because of the wind. Anyway, it's windy as hell outside, so I can't record. Trust me, my tripod will be falling over all of the time. So yeah, I'll record tomorrow's workout. And what the heck, let me just finish off this OJ. It's easy calories, so whatever. I know, this is pretty much a dirty bulk, guys. This is pretty much a, dead, a dirty bulk. <laughs> dead, dirty. So yeah, uh, don't copy me in this bodybuilding calisthenics bulk. Please don't, please don't. So yeah, I'll see you guys for a leg day tomorrow. Peace.
Lord. So that was a pretty good workout if you ask me. And it's funny, like I actually went a little bit harder than I was originally going to. But because I watched Chris Jones' uh, new video today, uh, the high volume arm workout with uh, Jerron, man, he pumped me up. He's like, yo, you just gotta do high volume, man. Do high volume, that's all I preach. So I'm like, you know what? Let me, tr let me try to do like three compound movements instead of two. And you know what? I think even after I record this, I'm gonna go inside. I don't record it though, but I'm gonna go inside, get my weighted vest, do some, some weighted vest curls and just pump them arms, bruh, because that's my goal. My goal isn't really the weight. I don't really give a damn how much I weigh. As long as I get the body that I want, I'm happy. So even if I get the body at like 165, I'm good. Like I watched Christian Guzman, and this guy's body is one of the best physiques I've seen, I've seen, to be honest. Like his physique is someone is the physique that I kind of want to emulate. I don't know how tall he is. I think he's about 5'11", 5'10". That's pretty much the physique that I want to get. Not too big, but not small at all. And I don't even, I'm starting to not care so much about being lean. I just want to have a little bit more size. I'm still strength over size, guys, okay? Someone's always going to be in the comment section saying, yo, Simon, I thought it was strength over size. Strength, people even say that to me on, on Instagram. Oh, size over strength. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please hurry up and follow me there. 250 more followers until 1,000. We could do that. We could do that. Take over every freaking social media network. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, in terms of physique, that is the physique closest to what I want to achieve. I also like, uh, sh man, I forgot his name, Sean Lee? Sean Lee, the black guy that uh, trains with CG, his physique looks sick. People say his abs are crap, but everyone has different abs, man. Like, I, I have my abs. People say my abs look like crap, but I like my abs regardless. But yeah, this workout was pretty nice. I did three compound movements. The first two, the first four exercises I did, I did supersets. So I started off with the rows, the hanging rows, and I went over to the pike presses or the pike push-ups, and I did it supersetted. So I took a break, a minute break between each superset, and then I went to the pull-ups and the dip. And because I didn't have the weighted vest, I slowed down my dips, and damn, that was intense. The dips almost felt harder than the pull-ups. But yeah, I did those supersetted, and then the last two exercises, I did three sets of rows, of the, the not hanging rows, but the inverted rows, or whatever it's called. And then I did the, uh, the one-arm push-ups, the assisted one-arm push-up. By the way, guys, I can still do one arm push ups. As a matter of fact, let me show you if I have enough strength or energy to do it. Let me show you. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was absolutely terrible, but I promise you guys, I promise I can still do one arm push ups with both arms. You guys saw my workout, man. It was intense. There's no way I was going to do a freaking one arm push up after that. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I gotta hop on some roids, bruh. But I'm all natural, though. I'm all natural. You know, you know what's funny? Uh, you guys probably, if I didn't make the video today, I'm gonna be making a video soon. I will, ha I will be speaking on exposing fake natties or the whole fake natty controversy, controversy that's been happening with, you know, Simi and Panda. But I'm also gonna talk about, you know who I also wanna talk about? Chris Jones. And not, not about him, but not about him necessarily, but about how people pretty much did the same thing to Chris, what they're doing to Simeon. And I want to speak on that because I find it absolutely stupid for people to always be going at others for being fake natty. Like what? Or, or not being fake natty. That's different. Just accusing people of taking steroids. And you know what? I'll speak more on that in the video. You guys probably already watched the video already if I recorded it or uploaded it before this one. But yeah. I'm getting pretty excited for powerlifting calisthenics. It's coming back. I know it will be. Ah. By the way, before I go, I want to speak a little bit on powerlifting with calisthenics because I know the gym, the guy, the manager at the gym told me months ago that I am allowed to record at Fitness 365 as long as I don't get anyone in the camera. So I'm like very sure that I should be able to record power to the calisthenics there. 
and as I told you guys before I'm planning I'm planning now I'm going to continue my bulk I'm not just gonna go to the gym just to freaking power lift uh, and the whole point of this series bodybuilding calisthenics is supposed to show you guys that you can bulk with calisthenics only even if you're doing weighted calisthenics but I can't lie I screwed up I screwed up during this entire series it's been how many months now I could have gained more and you guys know all the crap that's been going on like having the kid and stuff people like to say it's excuses but yo fine I'll use the excuse because having a kid is a very uh it is a life-changing experience and bulking is something that just was not pri priority for me so I didn't take it as seriously as I would have if I were to not be having the kid if that makes any sense so I'm hoping by the end of November I will reach at least like at least between 158 160 or not 160 sorry 155 to 158 because I actually did keep gaining weight during the series like for example when I started off I started off at 148 and I went to 153 I slacked off lost the weight started back up with the bulk again and then I went up to 150 something and I stopped every time I stop I lose the weight and I start back again and I gain the weight so you guys can see that I do gain weight when I am doing bodybuilding with calisthenics it's just that I haven't been remaining consistent which you know it, it's my fault I, it's my fault I, I, I screwed up I screwed up it doesn't change the fact or change my stance on whether or not you could bulk and I did not say bulking with calisthenics is better than the gym just to let you guys know the gym is the absolute best place to go if you want to bodybuild point blank that's my stance on it but it is not the only place that you have to go to bulk right so yeah just want to let you guys in on those thoughts power building with calisthenics should be coming I might just call it power building with calisthenics what do you guys think comment that down below power lifting with calisthenics or power building with calisthenics because the main the main part for that series will be about my lifts the bulking is just a side thing that I want to do for myself but if I could put it in the video and show you guys my results I'll be glad to it'll be interesting and a lot of you guys are eager to see me start training at the gym so you guys let me know down below see that bro you see that look at that Anyway, I know you guys hate long ass videos, so let me end it right here. I'm gonna get ready to go see my son, come back, try to record my video on the steroids, the, the fake natty controversy. And yeah, let me get to reading some of you guys' comments just now, because you guys crack me up. I'm actually happy you guys have been enjoying my no fat videos, even though a lot of you guys have unsubscribed. Well, not a lot of you guys, but a lot of the people, the fake SOS family members unsubscribe, but uh, F them. They get replaced real fast and those of you guys who stay i love you guys so much so yeah uh, uh talk to y'all next time i guess done Hoi. three days ago and i lost literally like 20 plus subscribers that day i gained some so it kind of didn't you know the debt wasn't so so bad